All right, everybody, welcome back to Fiverr Talks to the new set here. I'm really glad that you're here. Today, we're doing questions and answers, episode number two. That's right, we are back here at Fiverr Talks with a brand new set. Hope you like the new look. I've got a lot of new toys that I'm playing with, some color lights, some new lenses, lots of cool things to make this channel even better. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new look, if you like it, if you don't like it, uh, whatever you wanna say, just let me know, I wanna hear from you. But today, we're actually gonna hear a lot from you because I've got your questions right here in front of me. These are questions submitted by you, the viewers, questions about your Fiverr experience, your Fiverr selling opportunities and what I can do to help you along the way to get the most out of Fiverr for your business goals and your lifestyle goals. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to jump right in there to the questions because we've got a lot to go over. It's been a while. So we're going to start with a question from Design Zone. He or she asks, you mentioned about different gig offerings. We talked about that in a different uh, video where we talked about how to vary your offerings by having multiple gigs open on Fiverr at once that are related. He says, so you mentioned about different gig offerings. How bad is it, let's say besides web design, to offer Photoshop special effects and let's say 3D design altogether? Is that diminishing your initial gig, in this case web design? Uh, is this somewhat okay? What are the limits? Design Zone, thank you so much for this question. It is a great one, and one that I'm gonna cover in more depth in a course that I'm gonna put out on selling for Fiverr and some advanced techniques, hopefully later this year, so stay tuned for that. But I will tell you a little bit about what we will talk about in that course. Um, so essentially, there is a strategy to all this. Of course, you're exactly right. And there is also perception to be aware of. How do people perceive you and your business? Because every single gig that you put on Fiverr is a representation of your business as a whole. View it as your storefront. Every single gig on your profile page is your storefront. And when I first got started, I offered one gig, but that didn't last very long. I quickly began to branch out and thought, well, the more the merrier. There's lots of gigs I could do. I was doing things like um, voiceover work, I was doing spokesman videos, I was writing jingles, uh, I was doing some really weird stuff, I was doing some web design, some logo design, all these things for a while, and a lot of these things weren't related at all. They didn't have anything to do with each other, and so I quickly found through trial and error what worked and what didn't work, and if I had to do it all over again, I think the most basic thing I would say is this. Make sure that you have a solid initial offering before you start offering other things. Because it may seem odd, this may seem odd if you've struggled with selling, but it is very difficult to manage multiple different requests and different types of pricing and all this stuff at once. So get your feet wet, get started, get to know the platform and get a rhythm going with just one gig for a while. I don't have a time frame that I can tell you is the perfect time frame for that, but what I can tell you is you need to get your feet wet. You need to learn how Fiverr works in the rhythm of your life to make sure that it works for the rhythm of your life, and you can't do that if you've got seven gigs from day one. So I would say in your case, stick with web design for a while. Figure out how to price that. That's a tricky one because I did that for a while. That's a tricky one to price and, and place in a category and, and put into packages so that people can digest it and purchase it from you. Um, that, that's one that you're going to need to put some thought into. So there's going to be some trial and error on your part to get that right. Spend some time with that initial gig. Make sure you know what you're doing and build your reputation on that gig. That way when you start a new gig and you have no reviews, you can point back to the other one and say, Look how well I've done on this gig. Look at my track record. I've been doing this for six months or a year or whatever it is. And you have that to point back to. So great question. And I would definitely set up a foundation with that initial gig before start, you start thinking about expanding much farther. Uh, Hassan says, what would you say to newbies about gig creation on Fiverr in these Corona days? First of all, Hassan, Thank you for that catchy phrase, Corona Days. I think somebody should write a song called Corona Days, Corona Days, and the Z could be at the end of days. 
I don't know, just an idea. You give me credit and the rights. We'll share it. 60-40. You know, whatever. Um, what would I say to people who are creating new gigs on Fiverr during these corona days? I would say I made an entire video about that and the opportunity that it presents. So I'm going to link that right up here, wherever it ends up being uh, on the screen. I'm going to link it up in the corner so you can go check that out because I believe this is a unique opportunity for people who have more time on their hands than they did before. It's time to get something started. Now, I really think what you're asking, the heart of your question is, uh, is it gonna be harder during these days because a lot of people are trying to jump online and do stuff? And I would say there's always competition that something like the coronavirus is not making the competition unbeatable. Like there's way too many people jumping into the space. I can't get a grip. I can't do anything. Uh, that's certainly not the case. Um, good work always rises to the top. I'm a firm believer in that, no matter how much competition. So if you do good work, it is always going to rise to the top. And I think coronavirus uh, is just the opportunity some people need to get out of their normal day-to-day -day routine of work and thought processes and try something new. Um, it, it's something that will put a lot of people in a different frame of mind for how they work. And I believe that the job market career field and the working world in America and the rest of the world will be different after this coronavirus time is over, whenever it is over. Uh, I think it'll be different when we come out on the other side because it can't stay the same. Too many things have changed. Too much um, has been altered in our world. So I would say jump in there and, and give, it a, give it a shot, okay? How about Mr. Tahir Nerd? Mr. Nerd, there you go. I have a question, he says. I'm doing this on Fiverr that I wrote a note on the text file for a five-star review and put that in the delivery zip file. Till now, I've not gotten any warning. Is this safe or not? Uh, Mr. Nerd, I would say stop doing that. We talked about this in another video. Um, you might have seen this video, but you cannot request that buyers leave you a specific review. You cannot say, please leave me a five-star review because... If anyone on the Fiverr team, uh, trust and safety is what they call them, gets wind of this or opens up that zip file and sees that wording, you could get in trouble. Now, is it likely? Probably not. But I would also say it's probably not helping you as much as you think. Um, I miss the days when I could say, hey, please consider leaving me a five-star review. You put that in people's mind. But what causes people to leave you a five-star review is not you asking for a five-star review. If you did a great job and you simply ask for a rating, it will turn into a five-star review. So I would say stop that. You always want to be above board. You always want to be doing things the way you should be. Don't do anything that would jeopardize what you've built on Fiverr. That, that's something that I'm constantly telling new sellers is that... Um, there's always a lot of fear, it seems, in new sellers of, I'm going to do something wrong and I'm going to get kicked off the platform. It doesn't just happen that you make a mistake that you weren't aware of and you get kicked off the platform or you get something taken off. Um, you will get warnings along the way. And sometimes those warnings can be stiff. They could take you down a whole um, seller level. So if you're a level two, you could go down to level one. And I've had a lot of friends that are top rated sellers that got knocked off top rated for doing something similar to this, even when they changed the rules and didn't tell us, which happened to a lot of us, um, then uh, this kind of thing happened and they never recovered. They never got back to their same status. So I would say, stop doing that. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily unsafe or something that's gonna be easily detected, but you don't wanna do something that puts you at the risk of being um, demoted or, or get a warning or some kind of infraction for doing something you're really not supposed to, and I don't think it's helping you that much anyway. Our last question. These, these have been great questions today, guys and gals. Thank you so much for asking them. Alina Khan, she asks, Hi, Joel. Hi, Alina. Uh, I need some help for Fiverr. I have one issue. I've got an order on Fiverr and the buyer canceled it one day from delivery. Ugh, I hate that. I have had that happen before. The buyer canceled it one day before delivery and in his inbox was blocked without any reason. Ah, I see what's going on here. I've completed the whole project. What do I do now? Kindly help me, please. Now, I've had this happen. Um, here, here's what the truth of the matter is. The truth of the matter, it doesn't sound like your buyer canceled anything because buyers cannot cancel something without your approval and without notifying you as the seller. You have to agree to it. You would know what's going on. Unless, 
there is a trust and safety issue with this buyer, meaning there's fraudulent activity or they have the, they've had to shut down the account. This sounds like customer service canceled the order and their inbox was blocked because now either their account's shut down or they're being investigated for uh, you know a breach of terms of service or something like that. I understand you've already done the work and that is not fair. I've done this exact same thing. I've been in the same situation and I've contacted customer service and explained it and simply said, look, this just was canceled by you guys. I'm sure you had a good reason. Out of nowhere, it was canceled. I've already done the work. How do I get compensated? And though I can't say blanketly across the board that I think they'll do this for everybody, sometimes I think this might be something that they do showing a little bit of favors, favoritism to top rated sellers. You know, they want to keep people happy who are selling a lot, but certainly I think you're worth uh, the same kind of respect. And so you should ask, but they did credit me the sale. Uh, even though the order was canceled, I've done that before where I turned in proof of the work that I had completed, even when it, a gig was canceled, and they credited me the sale. They gave me the money that I earned. A pretty stand-up thing. Now, I know a lot of times when there's a system involved, like Fiverr, Fiverr is a system. There's automated things. Things like this happen. It's a casualty of the system. But it doesn't mean the Fiverr turns a blind eye or is heartless to it. It just means that it's a part of the system. So reach out, explain your situation, turn in the work that you've completed, say, hey, look, here, here it is, I'm done, and then see what they do. Because I think they'll come up to, to some kind of positive resolution with you. I think you'll be surprised. So never hurts to ask. I would ask uh, Alina. Thank you so much for your question. And thank you all for your questions today. I am so glad that we are doing this again. I, I missed this over the last couple weeks and I promise I'll keep rolling these videos out for you, trying to help you make your Fiverr business the best it can possibly be. As always, if you aren't already, please subscribe down below and hit that bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. New videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays so you don't wanna miss a thing. Again, my name is Joel Young. I'm a top rated seller on Fiverr. My username is DJ Young. Look me up, say hello sometime. Uh, and thank you so much for watching Fiverr Talks and until next time, keep doing because the future favors the doers.